wish y'all could smell it this morning out here. You can smell the honeysuckles and stuff. Dang, I love spring, man. That's Philip right there on the 630. Like Chad was saying a while ago, this is a uh, good test for him because uh, the trees are pretty big on this job. And the ground is very wet down there where they're coming out from, so they're having to stay on mats. And it's pretty, it's relatively steep too. This one here is going to be fairly, fairly rough track here. see them tires grab them roots and it pulled that machine on up over further forward on the machine that you pull that grapple picking it up gets more of the tree off the ground okay so the less amount of tree you got on the ground the less drag you got and then when you slide it up you put more weight on the front end so the higher and the further forward you get it wastes the machine right picks the tree up off the ground so you're not dragging as much tree on the ground and then also, when you've got it up like that, if you start to spin out, you've got a lot of leverage there to push yourself with, push yourself forward with. That's the beauty of the dual arch grapple compared to a uh, single arch grapple. So that machine there, Phillips on, is a 630E. It has the uh, final tier four engine in it. It's got the def engine in it. And it's a 67 liter, but it's, it's quiet because of all the emission stuff that's on it. So you can barely hear that machine running. Now Chad's coming and he's on the 635 and it's got a pre-emissions motor in it. And of course y'all all love to hear it. I'm gonna stand here until he starts to pull this hill and I'm gonna let you listen, listen to him when he comes up. See, I don't know if you've seen with that sun, but he's spinning that seat around and come on back here. See, he's sitting back. too like this trees right here over my shoulder and you see I dare just kind of cut that uh, wonder why we hadn't cut that well when it gets really wet like it is right now you have to cut where you can cut so it may take a day or two for this to dry out over here where we can cut that and skid it out so you kind of have to you have to feel your way around and you may not be able to cut exactly how and where you want to cut so that's the reason why it looks it looks the way it does, but Chad ought to be coming up in just a second.
wants that grapple down just a little bit to push him. You see, he's got it all the way up and all the way forward. trees up right now he's picking up some stragglers that were left here there and yonder he's bunching them up gathering them put them even them all up and he's gonna grab them all bring them up turned off. See, he just grabbed two more. All right, he's got to push himself. Don't spin it too much, Philip. See, he's working the grapple. The trick to pushing yourself is, is you don't want to spin the tires. All you want to do is push and rotate the tires the same amount of travel that you're pushing yourself. So he's down. Watch him. Let's see if he gets out of it. He's going to make it. See that front end just pop up? And now he's got to get his back end up. Pick it up. And push again. Come on, feather. There you go. That's how you do it right there. You see that? It's a textbook. beside them other ones he's got laying there in the skid trail and he'll drop them right there with him and then he'll bite them all at one time. Push it a little bit buddy. Push it. There you go. Push it. See he's got some big trees there this time.
I'm gonna keep the camera running until he gets out, until he gets himself out of this right here. He's doing the right thing now. He's gonna cross over and get out of those ruts. and angle and go straight that away he would have it really good he's gonna try to come on up that super spot too he's got right there those bigger ones are all going to be about 2500 pounds a piece is what they're going to weigh that's the log there's no telling what they weigh with the tops and the limbs and everything in them i'm going to attempt to take a picture and film at the same time see the camera that thing over here where I'm standing at from the radiator and stuff blowing over here Okay, so for those of y'all who don't know, Philip, you know, that's Kevin's little boy. He's 12 years old, and he can run the machine very well. And coming on alone, he's you know, he's just like anybody else out there learning. And it takes a long time to learn all the tricks and things like that. And you can kind of hear me talking through what what he needs to be doing. And and most all the time, you can take those machines and you can work yourself out of whatever situation you're in if you know what you're doing and you work the machine correctly because usually you've only got one chance to, to make it happen. And, and like I said in that one part of the video, you try not to spin the tires. If you ever spin the tires, you spin the tires, but the machine's not moving, you just messed yourself up. You're going to have to have somebody come, uh, come hook to you and pull you out or anything like that. But uh, it's just amazing the amount of power that those machines have. They're designed to pull and pull dead weight and pull a lot of weight. And it just, it's amazing what those things will do. You think about all the the engine, uh, the rest of the drive line, the transmission, the drive shafts, the universal joints, the front and rear chunks on them. There is an incredible amount of pressure right there on those machines just because of the weight and just the strain that they're in trying to pull up those hills. So many times people really, really get after me about tire chains and stuff like that. Uh, we, we do have chains. We have tracks, too. We only run them if we need them. Uh, last several years, we hadn't run them. And, uh, and the reason why is those things are very expensive and they wear very fast, and we really don't get paid enough money to run them, and then it stays dry enough for us also, too, to where it's really not that big of an issue to need to run them. So I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that. If you like my stuff, please subscribe to me, and all the clickable links are right down below. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.